Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CS Card Point of Sale React Native App. Now you can get the Point of Sale system native app for your CS Card store or marketplace. And with this POS app, you can easily allow your sales agents or the salespersons to manage the physical outlets easily. All of the information is synchronized between the online store and the offline store or the retail outlet. This app can be installed on any tablet device wherein the sales agents can manage products, update quantity or place an order as required. Can you note that this particular app works efficiently with barcode scanner to allow the addition of products, supports product type with options, it works both in the online and the offline modes. Sales agents can put the cart on hold to manage the store queue and they can also add discounts on the product manually as per their requirement. And we also have the quick search for products via the product name and SK there within this particular React Native app for the CS Card point of sale system. And uh, before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I've already installed the CS Card uh, point of sale uh, React Native app on my Android device and uh, today I'll be showing you the workflow on the Android uh, device itself. So uh, to open the particular app we just need to tap on the app itself. So right now I've, I was already logged in there so let me go ahead and let me log out first. So this is, uh, let me uh, go back. So this is the initial screen that you get after tapping on the uh, so shortcut for the uh, POS app there. And he, uh, the sales agent needs to enter his username and password and then tap on the login button to log into the POS terminal itself. Now after logging into the POS terminal, the POS agent can see the complete home screen and here on the very bottom end you have the home screen, the order section, the whole cart section and the more option. And on the more options we have refresh product list, select ca uh, currency, select printer, change language and change theme. So we'll go through all of these options one by one. On the home page, when I come back to the home page, at the very top end, we can see we have three icons. One is the search icon to search the products within the store. So for example, if I want to search for run perfect, I'll enter run. And the particular product would be searched out as you can see. Let me tap here on the back button. Then we have the barcode scanner. Now using the barcode scanner, you can scan the barcode of the products and you can add them up. If I tap on the barcode scanner, the particular barcode scanner would be opened up and it would start scanning uh, the particular barcode there. So for now, uh, we are not doing the same. Uh, so that was about how we can uh, search the products and how we can uh, use the barcode there. Now apart from that, we also have the cart icon. So if I tap on the cart icon, we'll be taken to the cart that's empty right now. Uh, now let me go ahead and let me refresh the product list here uh, for the time being. So it will just take a few moments there. All right. Now on the home page here, uh, the sales agents can uh, add the simple and the products with options as well to the cart there. So uh, to add a simple product, what you need to do is you just need to tap on that particular uh, product and you can see that that would be added into the cart there. If you want to add a product with option, you need to tap on that product, select the particular option, tap on the tick mark at the top corner and that would be added into the cart. Now let me show you the workflow there uh, for the checkout. After adding the product into the cart, uh, I'll just tap here on the cart icon. Here you can see that we have the Run Perfect 7x80 uh, product and the Nuvi 3450 product. And here we can see the subtotal the tax if any discounts and the grand total as $399.99 now after that uh, here what you need to do is you need to select the customer to select the customer you need to just tap here on the customer name customer and from here you can search the customers using their name or the email address otherwise uh, let me tap here on the close button for a moment otherwise what we can do here is uh, we can also uh, tap on the uh, customer that is already available there. So here I can tap on the customer name. For example, I'll choose Piyush Pandey there. And after that, I can tap here on the pay button to proceed further for the checkout. Now on the checkout here, 
uh, we have different options as you can see here the customer is already selected here we can apply the discount if uh, you want so the uh, sales agent can apply a discount as well so he can apply uh, a fixed one or a percentage one and the same would be applicable to the card there so if I apply a discount of ten dollars you can see that hey uh, under the discount now we have ten dollar discount so now it's uh, the product would be available for three hundred and eighty nine dollars and nine nine cents there apart from that if we have any coupon code we can apply that coupon code as well uh, by entering the coupon code and tapping on the apply button if you want you can also add a customer note if you want by entering the note here you can enter a note a particular note for the customer uh, if uh, there's any then you can uh, take the uh, payment using the cash credit card if I tap on the uh, cash you have to enter the uh, amount that has been tendered by the customers and then you have to tap on the update button otherwise you can also choose a credit card enter the credit card number update that up uh, as per your own requirements so for now we'll just go with the cash and update and then we'll tap here on the place order button after tapping on the place order button the order would get placed your from the physical outlet there and you can see that uh, the order has been placed if i want i can print the invoice as well and here's the invoice for piyush pandey there and here are the two products within the card that were there and the same is visible here in the uh, invoice as well now if i want i can tap here on the new order button to place a new order so that was how we can place the orders very really easily using this particular uh, react native app for the cs card point of sale system uh, now uh, uh, after that we have the order section if i go to the order section here we have two different tabs one is the online and one is the offline now in the online one you can see all of the orders that you placed when the uh, pos terminal was in the online state with internet connectivity there so if i tap on the order number 550 i can view the details there of the order number 550 there uh, for 552 uh, I can check the details of the 552 order there if I want I can print the invoice as well once again through the same as required now under the offline one we have all of the orders that were placed in the offline mode so let me show you the offline one so right now this one is in the offline mode uh, this uh, order was placed in the offline mode now if I want to uh, synchronize this order with the online store there I have to tap here on the sync button at the top right hand corner and this would synchronize this particular order with the online store and this would be removed out from the offline orders and would be added into the online orders there itself so you can see that uh, you have no orders under the offline now now in the online one you can see now we have the 5531 now how this offline works i'll show you that as well for that let's go to the home uh, page let me add a product uh, or uh, for that what we need to do is we need to disconnect the internet let me disconnect the internet for the time being after disconnecting the internet as you can see that there is no internet right now I can add a product to the card I'll select a customer after selecting the customer I'll tap on the pay button I'll proceed further with cash I'll update it up I'll tap on the place order button and uh, the order has been uh, placed as you can see now we can tap on new order now if I go to the order section here I go to the offline you can see the particular order is in the offline mode right now right the same product is in the offline mode right now if I go back if I bring in the internet once again and I check this product I can now synchronize it uh, with the online store by tapping on the refresh button at the top right hand corner there and this particular order would then be, be synchronized with the online store as well so you can see that it has been synchronized and it's here under one under the order name as uh, hashtag 554 so that was about the order section we have the online and the offline orders there and that's how you can also place the orders uh, using this uh, particular cs card point of sale react native app in the offline mode as well then we have the hold card so here we have a card that we have put on hold having some products and if i want to recart it I can tap here on the cart icon and this uh, would uh, uh, basically add this particular card into the uh, into our card there so if I tap here the whole card would be removed as you can see uh, now if I go to the home page and go to the cart I can view the particular uh, whole card that we had set up in the hold is now in this particular 
caught there so as to make a checkout there. So sometimes it happens that uh, a customer wants to add more products but uh, there's a long queue standing there and uh, you want to process this particular order at a later point in time. So if I have a particular product in the cart and uh, I want to make it uh, check out in a while there then what I can do is I can just uh, select the whole cart at the top right hand corner in the cart itself and I can put this particular cart on hold as well and the cart would be emptied and that particular order would be set up in the whole cart as you can see there itself. Now coming to the last option here we have the more option wherein we have the refresh product list this would refresh all of the products if there are uh, any changes made in the online store to the products and those changes uh, if uh, you want to reflect them on your POS terminal as well then you can tap here on the refresh product lists option then we have the select currency here you can choose currency so we had the US dollars initially now if I choose it as euros you can see the product price is in euros there then we have the select printer you can choose a Wi-Fi printer to connect to the same so as to uh, take out the printouts for your receipts there and then we have the language uh, right now we have English and Spanish if I choose Spanish you can see that uh, the complete pure terminal would be changed into the Spanish language so here we have on the bottom Inkyo, Compara, Guadar, Mas and if I go here, here as well we have all the things in the uh, Spanish language. Now let's choose it as English once again. Now lastly uh, we have the change theme here you can choose the dark theme as well and this theme would then be applied to the uh, POS terminal there as you can see right now. And accordingly you can make use of the different themes so we have provided the this one the light theme and the dark theme there for the CS card point of sale react native app itself so uh, yes that was much about the uh, CS card point of sale react native app and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.